And the very first thing is we have to assure that our mindset's dialed. And we talked about this last session too, mindset and perspective. Even though there was a lot of loss, and even though I could have lost everything, I really worked at an entrepreneurial level to be of abundance versus scarcity in my mindset. The scarcity mindset is, oh my gosh, I'm losing everything. There's no, I'm going to lose all my business. I'm going to have to start from scratch. Those kind of things. The abundant mindset is anytime, this is really, really critical. You remember right? This is anytime there's chaos, life shift, war, whatever it is, there's opportunity to grow. One of my best stories of that was when the markets in 2009 and 10 completely tanked. Uh, the mortgage company and all that, the whole, everything kind of stopped in the world. And we lost 30% of our clients overnight. I had a team at the time of 10 that I had to take care of to assure they had income coming in. And I really had to think about how can I serve right now deeply? I could have never thought through that if I was in that mindset. I've had to think about at an abundant mindset level, how can I serve deeply right now? And I put together an email and if I can find the PDF, I'll link to it below. Is everything okay with the title? And I sent it out to like 830 some of our clients and it documented right now, a lot of people need hope. And here's a couple things you can do right now to generate more awareness and potentially more leads and sales through the power of the internet. And I gave them a few examples of what that is. If you need any help, reach out to me. I'm happy to get on a call with you and I'll talk this through for you. No charge. Just want to take care of you because I know right now times are lean. That turned into a multi-million dollar marketing business because people did reach out. I had quite a few people print that, highlight it, have me come into their team meetings and talk them through who was going to do what and how they're going to be responsible for helping create awareness through the power of the internet. I got a lot of speaking requests because of that. And because of that, I can track and I have tracked all the different customers that came from that. Many of which we still serve in today over a decade later. This would not have happened. This would not have happened if I was in the scarcity mindset. I would have not reached out to send the email. And I have to tell you, even when I wrote that email and sent it, I'm like, I hope this goes well. Because I'm thinking people are going to be pissed that I'm trying to... Um, Solicit business, if you will, and all that. But I was clear in the email that it's, this is a give me. This is me contributing. Let me help you. So the underlying fundamental here is how can we contribute deeply that maybe requires a little more information or a little more guidance or a little more help. And maybe we charge for it. Maybe we don't. That's your call. But putting that out there lives into many of the things we're going to talk through today. It's you being the go-to person for others. You being the person that people reach out to be like, Hey, I need some guidance. I need some help. I need a connection. I need, um, you to post information on our Facebook or on our webpage, these kind of things. That's critical for everything we're talking through about surviving and thriving. You have to lead the charge of the environment mindset. If this is not in your realm, if you are like, how does that even work? Square peg round hole. High performance habits, the charge, the motivation manifesto, the leadership work that we do in our high performance coaching journey is for you because it was through that work that I built the castle of abundance that I don't fall into the scarcity trap. I, I still do because I'm human, but I'm able to pivot out of that fast because my articulation, my depth, my emotional connection to being of abundance and realizing that's the only way I can really help. It's so clear I get out of the scarcity mindset fast. The only exception to that is if I get too tired. So we really have to be careful about taking care of us. Talked a lot about this in our last session. Making sure I'm sleeping. I needed that 12 hours, as I mentioned. I took the 12 hours. Hydrating, eating right, taking care of our energy that way, exercising, getting out there and running, going after it. Um, that's a big part of me, maintaining energy and sustenance through that lens. Really critical. Abundance versus scarcity. So my question is, as we assess this for you, what practices do you have to reset, realign, rejuvenate, to get yourself back on track 
to an abundant-based, positive-oriented mindset. I'd even add joyfully curious mindset. Even under the load of chaos, challenge, frustration, struggle, uncertainty, and even destruction. Does that all make sense? Oh, this is so powerful. I'd love to hear. If you have, a, have anything for us, comment, because it may be of inspiration to others as well, and I'd love to know what that is.